It could be one of those psychological ones as well for him. You know, he's you know, giving you an opportunity as a right back now. Then show me you can do it if you're not willing to play left back. Clever ball in from Caramo and turned in by Eden. Caramo slipped it to the byline. It was fired across, and Eden does it again. Who needs Mauro Icardi? Five goals in four starts for Eden. The replacement has done it for Inter. Well, what can you say? You know, he's, the game starts, it's opening, but you just look at the run from Caramo, the youngster. He goes in, his first touch is good, gets him underway, but this little bit of skill here, the pass, the weight, the run, everything was perfect, just to wait that pass and not give it up. From Brozinic, and as you said, when you're a lone striker, you have to get yourself in the box and become the nuisance. And that's what he's done it there. Yeah, Brozovic takes immense credit. But Karam, Karam and nutmegs him and shows him a clean pair of heels. We'll see. Yeah. Six and one half a dozen of the other. Oh, what a ball that is from Joao Cancelo. And it should be 2-0. Fabulous bit of play from the fullback and headed wide by Brozovic. I tell you what, Dave, as well, it's the late run from Brozovic. You know, it catches his shoulder, but the late... Goal was called too early. VAR has got involved and Antonin Barrick's uh, goal does not stand. Here's Messina. It's a decent header from Palacio and it's well clawed away by Handanovic. He managed to generate power and he got the direction right too. You see, you can't switch off with Palacio. This is know what he's all about. You know, he's in there. Miranda, ball. Great to keep his eye on the ball as well, because Miranda, he knows Miranda's in front of him, just to the side. And to keep your eye on the ball to the last minute, you know, is, it is an art, because some people do close their eyes. Well, there's Miranda with a slice, and Palacio's in here for 1-1. One, one. It's a nightmare for Joao Miranda. Another inter mistake, another goal conceded. And Rodrigo Palacio won't celebrate, but inside his heart will be singing Bologna level. Well, it's a composure he takes as well. He takes his time, he lets it bounce. He knows that Miranda can't recover and touch him. And he just slots it away, but he's thinking defensively, you know. It's, Poor defending. But a great finish at the end of it. No celebration. Little touch on! And it was attacked! And then headed over. How haven't they scored? D'Ambrosio charging in at the far post and then Skriniar heading over. I just wonder if it's a high boot for Skriniar there. He's looking at it. It's a barn coming down. There's a high boot coming in. He's looking at, it, at the ball, half an eye. Just see it here. The overhead kick is dangerous for two players, not just the one. And he'll be disappointed not to finish that off. But the first chance is a golden chance, isn't it? Oh, it is. There's nothing worse. You head it down into the ground. It can go anywhere. It could have gone over the bar. It could have gone under the bar. It's hit the bar, but tried to make amends. Ends up putting his teammate off. And the second one is... Along the grass. Suddenly looks wide open again. Flicked across, Perisic! Players falling all over the pitch here. Orsolini very clever. Just stepped in front as you're about to do a forward movement. Rafinha. Now Caramo. Great feet from him. Oh, today's the day a star is born at San Siro. Jan Caramo bursts into life. And Inter have the lead again. 19 years old and the world is at his feet. Oh,
it's the invention of it as well. You know, coming in from that right hand side on his weaker foot. You know, good quick feet, a little one too, and then to go and strike and it so well with his left foot. The goalkeeper had absolutely no chance with that. What a moment! First goal in Serie A. What a way to do it! Top world-class defenders. All of a sudden now the game's changed. They're going for footballing central defenders. Oh, that's wild, and he'll be off. Second yellow card for Ibrahima Umbai. There's an argument to say that was a straight red, but Umbai sent off, and Bologna's task just got a whole lot harder. It was so high and so late. You're right, Davis. I think it's quite fortunate that referee's put. And then Inter can bring it clear. Minute of the added on time play. Handanovic, they're going to get it. But they're so tentative in getting it that they're actually slipping, they're falling over the ball. They're doing the hard stuff. going to take action. It's going to be a red card, I think, for Messina. Messina off, Bologna down to nine. Both fullbacks sent off. And he pleads his case. But it's ending in slightly farcical fashion here. Yeah, but you see it there. It's right under the referee's nose. The referee's to the back of the tackle. He's not quite seen it, but it's late, it's high, it's halfway up the shin. And, you know, when you see it from that angle, it's not nice.